But as we go to air this morning, far north Queensland is staring down the barrel of a flood emergency not seen in decades in the wake of ex-tropical cyclone Jasper. Cairns has seen 100 millimetres of rain since 9am yesterday. However, rainfall totals across the weekend exceed half a metre in some areas. Roads have been turned into rivers, resulting in a number of homes being inundated with water at Holloway's Beach, Redlinch and further north in Mossman. There are now fears the city could run out of drinking water in a matter of days if weather prevents the council from clearing infrastructure blockages. Flights in and out of Cairns Airport have been suspended as the runway resembles more of a river. Incredible pictures out of Cairns Airport. The sheer force of the water has seen key roads such as the Captain Cook and Palmerston Highways give way. While Good Samaritan spent yesterday rescuing livestock seen floating down the Barren River. That'll be one tired cow, but he's safe. That's awesome. A request for immediate assistance has been made to the Navy as flood levels rise. The Douglas Shire Mayor Michael Kerr says it's still evolving situation. Well, we ended up sandbagging. We had enough volunteers come down. We sandbagged at that uh, evacuation centre, so we were able to keep people there safely. Um, but, yeah, they, that's, that's the situation. It's, here. it's just keeps on growing. Yeah, and the information we're getting, you know, is assisting us, but sometimes it's been a lot more than what we thought it was going to be. Nine's Andrea Crothers has the latest from Lakeland, just north of Cairns. This is extremely concerning. So I can tell you eight people are currently trapped on a hospital roof in the town of Woodjul Woodjul. So this is a remote Aboriginal town about halfway between Cooktown and Port Douglas. They've been stuck on top of that roof since one o'clock this morning as authorities are scrambling to create a rescue mission. At this stage, it's looking more and more likely that an aircraft will be sent to the area and they will be winched to safety. At the same time, there are four people trapped in homes in nearby Dagara. They too waiting to be evacuated. This is as floodwaters rise across the region. Major flood warnings in place for the Daintree, Mossman, Barron Rivers. Further south in the Johnson, Tully and Herbert Rivers, there are also moderate flood warnings in place for the Mulgrave and Russell Rivers. As you said in the introduction there, Cairns Airport it has now closed for the second time in just a matter of days. This is after water breached the levee bank outside that. I can tell you they'll be having a meeting around 8 o'clock this morning to assess the situation there. Power outages too. 12,500 people again today will be waking up in darkness. And we're also seeing a large number of roads cut across the region. No one able to get in and out. Expect that will affect people not just in the far north but the southeast and elsewhere around the country as well because it means fresh food from this region also can't get out. So expect temporary price spikes and supply shortages there too.